Now that we have learned the properties of quadrilaterals, let us look at some examples. PQRS is a square. Calculate with reasons the values of x and y determine with reasons the length of RS. We need to think about all the properties we know about a square and indicate on the square. This will aid in helping us arrive at our answers. Firstly we know that all sides of a square are equal and we have indicated it by the lines shown on each side. Secondly we know that opposite sides are parallel. This is shown by the arrows on the opposite sides of the square. Next we know that all angles of the square are 90 degrees. This is seen by the little boxes shown on the square. When finding the value of x, we can see that x equals 90 degrees. Our reason will be that PQRS is a square and that all angles are equal to 90 degrees. Remember that when we deal with geometric shapes that we must always give a reason. Now let's look at 2y. The entire angle of 2y is equal to 90 degrees. So we write that 2y equals 90 degrees with the reason that PQRS is a square and all angles are equal. This step is now our equation and we know from the rules of equations that what's in front of the y we divide both sides by that number. Therefore we have divided both sides by 2. We finally arrive at the value of y as 45 degrees. When finding the length of RS, we know that all sides of the square are equal and so if PS equals 5 cm then RS will also equal to 5 cm. Our reason is PQRS is a square with all sides equal. PQRS is a rhombus. Remember that a rhombus is like a slanted square so some of the properties of a square will apply to the rhombus. Determine, with reasons, the sizes of S, R and Q. Determine, with reasons, the length of PQ. Step 1 We put all the properties of the rhombus on the diagram. AA you can see we have denoted by the lines on each side that all sides of the rhombus, just like the square, are equal. Secondly, just like the square, the rhombus has opposite sides parallel. This is shown by the arrows indicated on the diagram. We also know that the rhombus has opposite angles that are equal. This is shown by the small markings at each of the opposite angles showing that they are equal. We also need to take notice that angle P is shown to be 42 degrees. This information is useful as we attempt to answer these questions. From all the information, we have on the diagram, we are able to see that angle P is equal to angle R which is equal to 42 degrees. Our reason is that PQRS is a rhombus because opposite angles are equal. Now we should look at the parallel lines PQ and SR. If you look at the yellow marking it will show you the U-shape inside the two parallel lines. We know that the angles inside the U-shape add up to 180 degrees. This means that P plus S equals 180 degrees. Remember that P equals 42 degrees. So now we write angle S equals 180 degrees minus 42 degrees and angle S is equal to 138 degrees. The reason will be co, interior angles. QP is parallel to RS. If we look at the double markings at angle Q and angle S we clearly see that both these angles are equal and therefore we arrive at angle Q equals angle S equals 138 degrees. The reason PQRS is a rhombus with opposite angles being equal. If we remember we did say that all sides of a rhombus are equal. With this in mind we can now say that PS equals PQ equals 6 centimeters. The reason will be PQRS is a rhombus with all sides equal.